how is uh, Dean's bond with Amara going to continue to manifest? And is he sort of like concerned so that maybe she's kind of like his ruby and she'll lead him astray? Or hey, hey, down? take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> she's, here. I hope not. Awesome. she's actually here right now with the kids. Um, yeah, it, we will see kind of that that relationship uh, a little bit more and, and see kind of what what exactly that relationship is. Um, and uh, I don't know. I, I I don't think that he knows what to make of it. I don't think it's 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 really clear to him. Uh, I'm not sure that he understands the uh, the connection and why that you know obviously. There's a mark issue that is, that's that's probably the connection, and, and also that he was, uh, like we said, the lock and the key type of thing of, of releasing her. Um, <laughs> yes, the lock. And, the key. Uh, and so so there's obviously that 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 connection, but what it all means and how it's all going to tie into his destiny and his future and what that means for the brothers. Uh, he's very nervous about. Um, obviously, it's something that he's going to be hiding those nerves, but uh, uh, we will see it um, get fleshed out a Dean little bit. Dean hiding his nerves? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> but how long will he hide it from Sam? How long will he hide it from Sam? Yeah. Like, just how strong that connection is. Uh, to be determined. Don't know yet. Yeah, inevitably, if, you know, and, and we've seen this throughout the, the course of the series. Uh, you know, when one brother becomes afflicted with some sort of whatever it is, the other brother does everything that he can and in his power, uh, and even sometimes not in his power, to remedy the situation and then sacrifice whatever he can for the other brother. So, um, you know, that's been kind of the flip-flopping motivation for a lot of these seasons that we've seen recently. And I think one of the great things about season 11 now is that they don't, that's not necessarily what's driving the story anymore. Um, you know they're essentially not afflicted with anything. They're they're both you know intact. Granted, they're scarred and bruised from a life, you know, of of hunting and fighting. But uh, but they're not fighting for each other anymore. They're fighting a common target. And well, they're fighting alongside each other. And they're fighting alongside each other. Uh, and it's been a while since we've seen that. So I'm really excited about that dynamic kind of back together and, and that that unit that's back together. Uh, as opposed to in previous seasons where, you know, Dean's had the mark and Sam's been doing things behind his back to help Whoa. him. And, Whoa. And, and, First the Ruby uh, thing. I read now. your diary. <laughs> I read Sam's diary. Here? I know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> and, and so I think, you know, having that kind of those motivations over the past several seasons and now having that gone and we're kind of starting back to where we did in season one, where it's the two brothers in the car driving down the highway with a common goal and a common purpose. And uh, so... That's, I'm really excited about but if you, that. But if Dean is hurt, does Amara hurt and vice versa? Uh, no, we're not doing, no. It's okay. it's not like a, Jeez. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like a voodoo doll or anything like that. It's like, oh gosh, what was that? <laughs> Talking about uh, strange alliances, we saw in uh, the episode that it's already aired that the uh, middle management or the peons of heaven and hell are going to take things in their own hands. Um, They're going to try. Yeah. Um, can you talk about how long they'll be able to keep that rolling before you guys get involved or find out that they're doing it? Um, that's kind of a C storyline. Uh, they they kind but of again, it's TBD. But yeah, it's it, it, right as of right now, it's it's kind of taking a back seat as to what they're all up to. We know they're kind of you know cohorting and, and doing their thing and, and obviously we saw in just the last episode we saw an angel and demon sitting in a bar having a drink together. It sounds like a um, It does. Yeah, like spit off for these guys right now. Right. Yeah. I think also I think one of the one of the kind of tertiary points to that is that we're realizing just how big of a bad the darkness uh, is you know. So um, to see angels and demons middle management start to align I think we we as an audience go like holy shit like what is going on that these people are talking and you know sharing drinks um, very cool would you consider the darkness to actually be evil or would you say that it's more chaotic or I don't know like is it really inherently evil or I'm gonna is it say just evil. different see I, I don't know um, and I, I'm I still saying evil. I, 
<laughs> disagree. And this is you no, know, this isn't like coming from a Sam Dean. This no, this is art imitating life. <laughs> yeah, Sam's like, and Dean's like, whoa, whoa, well, yeah. wait a minute, uh, maybe we should get to know her first. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, it, it's it's interesting. We know a little bit more about the background of what the character, where the characters come from, <laughs> what, what the character is is kind of doing. So I, I don't I don't know if if I would say it's inherently evil as opposed to just opposite of, of what we've known in the world as good uh, or as as light, so to speak, which is why she is the darkness. Um, but again, it's I don't I don't think that um, I don't think that, that means that she is out to destroy and to and be an evil doer. I think it means that she is just she's out to really is, is to bring darkness and whatever that means. Uh, I think is is yet to be determined. And I think one of the one of the overarching storylines we play with in Supernatural in general is that everybody's kind of the hero of their own story, right? Even when Sam and Dean keep secrets from each other, it's not to cause harm to each other or to you know mm -hmm. piss each other off. It's I think I'm doing the right thing, um, and it becomes scary with somebody who's powerful and righteous like the darkness who. You know, she's not t twisting her mustache. She doesn't have a mustache. Uh, but if she had one, she wouldn't be twisting it. She just thinks she's doing the right thing um, to bring darkness. So I still say she's evil. But uh, hey, you know what? <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah. The gauntlet has been thrown. Last question. Uh, one of the things in Baby that beyond just an awesome, that's also from the point of view of the car is that we see that the ghoul pyres and other. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. No, you want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Great name, but thank they're, you. They're, thank they're, you. They're building up their forces to also Girl combat power. the darkness. So are we going to see more? Is what? I'm sorry. Is what? They're, they're, they are building up their forces to right. also combat the darkness. So are we going to see more of that? More? Yeah. So yeah, you, you're seeing cool like cool pyres at the bar <laughs> with the angels. <laughs> cool pyres with the with. I want to be the with the wear ghosts like, sitting at the, the bar. bar. <laughs> um, yes, and that 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 also. I mean, this kind of goes back to those those <clears throat> unique alliances that are that are kind of taking shape is, you know, people are kind of uh, getting their defenses together um, and they're they're forming these alliances of being like, listen, it's not about you and me anymore. It's about it's about us. And, and we're going to we're going to lose all of this if we don't join forces and and, uh, and man up. Um, so, I, yeah, I think that um, we're going to see a little bit more of that, I think, in the future. Um, but again, it kind of goes back to uh, you know the brothers and and those that those immediately around them, the, you know, with with Cass and what he's dealing with, and uh, with Crowley and what he's dealing with, and Rowena, and you know, it's it's all these different players in the game and how they're going to where they're going to go to to find uh, safety or 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 if there is any safety. I think it's a great way to learn about <clears throat> the darkness is through these other characters. Um, I remember just as an actor growing up and learning the craft of acting, they say there are basically three ways to learn about your character. Uh, what your character says and does, what other characters say about your character, and what's written in a stage direction. You know, you Sam. Made that up. You just made that up. <laughs> you didn't learn anything about from acting. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but those are the three main ways. And so one of my favorite ways that we learned about, say, angels in season four, um, to, to say something nice about Ruby. I'm just kidding. When, when, she was so, when she was so scared of angels, you kind of go like, well, the, the Winchesters have been terrified of demons for how many seasons now? And now we see a demon and she's mortified of an angel. So what are these angels capable of? So I think one of the really neat things to see as an audience member is what these ghoul pyres and uh, <laughs> demons and angels are all thinking about the darkness. 